Now run! Now we're ready to solve an indefinite integral here of the function x square root 2x squared plus 3. Okay, well, let's tackle this bad boy. Well, be careful here. Well, uh, okay, now, but first of all, you're gonna, probably going to question, we, ne we need to let u equal something. u will always equal something that's either under the radical or in the parentheses, etc. Okay? So let's let u equal 2x squared plus 3. Okay? It makes perfect sense. Now what you do is take the derivative. Would be 4x. And don't forget to put another dx right here. It's differentiable. Okay? But, you see that x right there and that 4x? It doesn't match, right? We wanted to get, that, get to that x right there. So, you know what? We need to divide that by 1. We need to times that by 1 fourth to get it to equal x, right? So, we're going to rewrite this integral by in terms of u. Okay, so it's one-fourth u and look at the power on it. Everything is raised to the one-half power because the square root means the same thing as one-half to the one-half power. D u. Okay, now what you want to do is anti-differentiate. When you anti-differentiate, okay, so it would be Let's see, two halves, three halves, three halves, two thirds. It'd be one sixth. U to the three halves. Don't forget the plus C. People do that all the time. Now what we do is well, we said that u, u, well, I told you that u is equal to x squared plus 3. All we need to do is back substitute it in, man. Come on. 1 sixth, 2 x squared plus 3 raised. Now we got it to the 3 halves power. Come on, man. And don't forget the plus c. And there's your answer! There's your answer. Now, if we were doing, if this was a definite integral, we would not be done. And besides that, we wouldn't have that plus C in there. We'd have to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. Siloqua. Calculus. Siloqua. Quack, quack. Ow, ow. Yep. Yep, we're doing calculus, man. All right.